And the fact that we, with grants from CEDA, Swedish International Development Agency, aid money, we managed to beat Nasdaq stock browser. And we're pretty proud of that. Because that's a low set, that's a very bad graphics. Because in stock market, you are just interested in getting the information within minutes or hours. You're not interested in understanding really long-term trends, and you do that linear in a way. So, so, so um, uh, this, is, this is the product. And then we came to the conclusion that our main problem was that the data was not freely available. And we got pretty furious about that. Because it's not like Pirate Bay. Someone privately, you know, make a film or they, they make music and they make anything and then someone uploads it and who owns it. And that's a debate I can respect, you know. But here it's tax money that paid for the data. And then you have to buy it back. You have these taxpayers who pay and data is collected and all money and then OECD. You've heard about OECD? As the Indians say, you know, a uh, think tank based in Paris, they call it, in India. <laughs> Infosys called it a think tank based in Paris. What do OECD do with all this data? Well, they compile it in a very clever way, having very skilled people. And then they sell it back to those who paid for it. So you pay twice for the OECD data. And, and, and they don't even use that, that money to pay for the whole compilation. It just recovers about 30% of it. It's the same thing as if you would charge for the sidewalks in the city. It's just unproductive. If we could get all data, which is tax-funded, accessible in unified format, in machine-readable and unified format, on the net, innovation would take place. In the same successful way as business could start in cities, when you had the public investment in the streets and in, in the sidewalks. And then business could start beside the sidewalk. I've been in countries where the state ran the restaurant. That wasn't good. It was, it was Albania and Vietnam. No good. I don't recommend that. Uh, it was very bad service and bad food. But I've been to Wall Street and I walked all the way up to New York Stock Exchange on a tax-funded sidewalk. Because it's bloody efficient to provide sidewalks as public goods. Uh, all cities do that. And this is what we want. We want the statistics to be the intellectual sidewalks of societies based on which you can understand it in the democratic process, based on which you make priorities in your business, and from which you can take the information and you can do analytical works and charge for it. Basically, we want to take Thomson and Bloomberg out of market. And they can sell clever analysis, but not compile data set. We could, we could advance a lot if we would get data accessible for innovation in different ways. And then they would co compete. Another allegory I use, like, data is like the composition by Mozart and Beethoven. And those statisticians should be praised for what they've done. It's a great job. Very often we don't, we don't recognize the profession. You know. It's very tough to make national accounts good and usable. Really, really tough. It's not routine work. Always there's a new sector, you have to make judgments, you know, and you have to make control and quality control. But they shouldn't make the instrument to play it. The composer, Steinway should make the instrument, Yamaha should make the instrument. It's much, we get innovation there. And then you apply the composition by Mozart on a Yamaha organ, and everyone can play it. And the cost of the, of the music with Yamaha has come down so you can have it at home, and you can play it at home. That's what we would like to see. And that's why we were convinced that we started a non-profit foundation. But we were not ideologically non-profit, we were strategically non-profit. Yeah? And we were not against open source code movement, it's just that the code wasn't our aim. The code was just the tool to liberate the data and make the data accessible. And that's why we found it wise to, to, to sell this to Google, and that we did in 2007. And Google acquired the software from the foundation. A foundation registered at the Leon Sturgeon in Stockholm can never ever be acquired by anyone. No? That's what's nice with the foundation. Foundation is a very good organization for a lot of entrepreneurship. Yeah? You can register, you pay tax like a company and so on, but it's, 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 you can take profit out of it. So you can deal with people. I can go to public service TV and say, use our website as source because we are like a museum. We are like the Nordic Museum. You know? I can go to a statistical agency and say, I will display your data. No one brings profit out of that. 
That's how private schools, uh, uh, privately run schools and hospitals in se several countries are run by foundation. Then you don't get this ideological debate whether someone take profit out of tax money funded schools. But you can run them with the same efficiency of, of, of a business organization, which a public organization cannot do. So I'm not arguing for foundation as the big solver, but I think it's an underutilized tool. And often you can do it. And a, a foundation can then own, develop a product, like a software, which you can sell. And then Google paid the foundation. Unfortunately, not so much, but, but we, are, we are relatively independent for a number of years. Where we, can, where we can continue and use this technology. We also, in our agreement, had the idea that uh, we had the agreement that we got a free license of it. So that's where it says copyright Google, but we have uh, the data in it. But it's a long process to make this dysfunctional way of which we use and compile data, to make that function. That's a long way. It is not an easy catch. And perhaps this is the reason why the old man was involved. Because it was really someone who wanted the need, wanted data to be used. So this is more or less how it came about this. I saw a need within a narrow teaching of the change of health and family size in the world. Huh? A software, I can tell the story about the software development. It's a headache to develop software, you know. Avoid it if you're kind, you know. <laughs> because it, it's so frustrating, you just think you're going to catch it and then, then, then you need more years, you need more years, you need one more iteration. So it's very, it's cumbersome. Yeah. But, but we did it and we stole it. And then it wasn't, it's not a paradise in Google, but they are serious. They were good partners and they are trying now. I think I stopped there. And then you guide questionings and continuation. Very good. So any questions on the contents, uh, sort of the future of the world? Or I don't think we have succeeded yet. I don't think we have succeeded. We have not scaled it. We have two to three million visitors per year, which stays between eight to ten minutes. Eh? And, and, and we don't get others to use it. You know? I, I don't, it's very difficult to teach, you know. Uh, uh, did you see how I lectured? I used two fingers, like the chimp. There are very few professors who can use two fingers. They can just use one. You know? They go into PowerPoint like this. They say, next, 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 <laughs> next, 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 like this. You know? Whereas I can use two fingers. I put the thumb on the Alt key and the index on the Tab key. And this fantastic window's open, you know. And I can go between different open applications, you know. And suddenly I'm here and I know how to open diff new tabs, you know, also. Eh? And then I can go between the tabs. And it's pretty successful. Can Are you allowed to brag in this school? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that the, in Karolinska you cannot brag. So if you go to Google, you know, to, to, to the internet, and you go for the real stuff which you want, you go for sex, <laughs> money, and health, you know. What do you get? <laughs> What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? You see, I'm on top. <laughs> and that's pretty good. 120 million hits. Yeah, this public health professor on top, you know, on sex, money, and health. You know, ain't that? Huh? So, so, so you, you, uh, you, uh, you can do it, but, but really we have not scaled. We have not scaled, you know. Look at what you can do on the internet, you know. And, and, and we have, Google has now delivered motion shots, and within US, they have the, the um, uh, they have the, uh, always show the bookmark, unemployment rate. Here, if you ch search in US on unemployment rate, you get this up. And this is the first application from the, Trendalyzer. We call our software Trendalyzer. So the Trendalyzer team, my son, his wife, and the three Swedish developer plus others from Google, which I've joined. This is what they've done. The un unemployment rate in the United States. Very modest. Not moving bubble yet. Just what fits in search. Because it's very difficult in search to give you four or five different indicators at the same time. So how to conceptualize and fit with the search engine to make data accessible. But this is a little start they've done. And then you can go down, you can go down to California here and you see, you see it's very interesting in California. 
you will see the, the, uh, the dot-com bubble there was bigger, but in California open, and you go down to Silicon Valley, to Santa Clara, isn't it what it's called? Santa Clara County, here. There you see the dot-com bubble, huh? when, when unemployment, but the unemployment rate now, the unemployment rate now is worse, you know. And then you think, that's no good, I don't want to work there. If I go to there, I want to work in Alpine County, you know, and do some skiing. And you see, ooh, they have seasonal unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty, it's, 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 it's what I've been, but now they are struggling about it. And it so happens that United States of America has in the Constitution that the data is free. And, and people can use it, companies can use it. They have a very clear license for that, whereas other countries don't. And it's very haphazardly the policy for that.